Radix sort is definitely my favorite sorting algorithm. It works by sorting the least significant digit, then by the second least significant digit, and so forth until it has reached the most significant digit. This has an intriguing effect of making it so the list looks nearly completely random until the last iteration where it kind of just pops into sorted order. In most examples you will find it being used to sort numbers, but you can actually sort anything that can be sorted lexicographically. For example, you could also sort words, playing cards, or binary strings. Radix sort works by creating buckets to assign elements to, then using these buckets to write to an output list. If there is more than one significant digit, then it simply repeats this process. Something interesting that comes out of this bucketing is that it is a non-comparative sorting algorithm. Or in other words, it doesn't directly compare elements of the list to each other. Because of this, the runtime comes out to be O of n times k, where n is the number of items in the list, and k is the length of the longest one. 